Hey everybody, Chris here with Simple Tech, where we help you take the stress out of your Apple IT. So today we're going to have a quick just discussion, um, and not so much as a how-to, on getting started with pages. And one of the first things that you encounter is what type of document do you want to use? Word processing or page layout? And so we're going to dive into those, what those mean, and how to make sure that you are choosing the right one for what you are trying to achieve. So if you're ready to go, let's get started. All right, so if you have not dove into pages yet, when you first open it up, you're gonna be encountered with a question basically of what kind of document do you wanna start with? So I'm gonna go ahead and open up pages here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Spotlight to open it up because I do not have it on my dock. All right, so Welcome to Pages. Now, for me personally, I prefer Pages over any other word processing document, specifically Microsoft Word. So when you kind of open it up, you run into this choose template menu, right? And you got this left-hand sidebar that has what you used recently, basic ones, do you want to do reports, a book, a letter, a resume, flyers and posters. So these are all templates to kind of get you started. And so if there's something in there that you want to get started with and you want to kind of customize to make your own, by all means, jump in and play around. The beautiful thing about the themes is you're not going to break it, right? If you go in there and you just use a theme to test the waters just to see how it works with adding photos or customizing font. Um, anything along those lines. So definitely something I would recommend that you just kind of tinker around and play with a little bit. But more times than not, a lot of people will end up on this all templates section and they will come in here and they will see two different things. You got a basic blank one and a blank layout, but then a blank landscape. And in this particular case, you're probably just wondering, well, what's the difference, right? What is the difference between these? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open up a blank basic one. And I'm gonna just kind of move it off to the side and we're gonna leave it here. Then I'm gonna to go to file and new. And I'm gonna open a blank layout one. Now you can already see a couple of differences right when you open it up. When I opened the word processing one, the blank one, it did not give me that thumbnails over on the side, right? Because the idea is we just have one page right now and we're just typing. So we're just typing our text, you know, you wrote it writing a paper or anything like that, and you're just typing away. And as you get to page two, it's automatically gonna create a page. Well, in a page layout document, that's a little bit different because in page layout, I can't just type, there's no cursor. I can't just type on my screen and type text like I did in this first one here on the left-hand side. So there is some differences between the two. So let's dive into those a little bit. So word processing is gonna be what you know um, from working in Microsoft Word or going to school and typing papers and all that good stuff. It is just simply you're writing a document, whatever that document may be. Yes, you can still add images into your document and things along those lines, Oftentimes when you do that, what it does is it puts those images in line with wherever the cursor is at that point. So if I move my cursor down, as you can see here, and now I'm down a little bit on the screen right in here, if I were to insert an image, what it would then do, and you can do that using the media here, um, what it would then do is put the, the image right there. However, in a page layout document, the document itself is free flowing. So that means you can drag and drop and position things on the page anywhere you want. It's not based upon where the cursor is at. That is the main fundamental difference between the two. Cursor, no cursor. Word processing is tied to the cursor and the cursor's location. Page layout is not, things are free floating. They could be layered on top of each other. So if you're using shapes, um, you know, you have a lot more creative options with the page layout mode. So if you're making something like a flyer or a book or, um, you know, an invitation to a party or something along those lines, 
you're probably going to want to use page layout mode because it just behaves a little bit differently. Now, if you're writing a paper and you might need to put in images like figure 1A, figure 2B, you're probably going to use word processing and then you're just going to write those captions underneath the images and they'll be in line with your document and your text. So that's really what I wanted to kind of discuss here today. Just keep it short and sweet is really the differences between word processing and page layout right when you open it up. Oh, and one last thing. The easiest way to know which one you're using is if you have this the right sidebar open and we come to document and we kind of take a look in, I gotta move it because my camera's in the way, and we kind of take a look in here, you can see there is really the margins are grayed out, right? Whereas if we look at the document here, we have header and footer, we have document body margins. So there's a little bit more, um, as well as additional options up here at the top in word processing mode. So like you can break your document into sections or you could put bookmarks inside of your document so you can jump around from one to another. So I know that's a very long-winded explanation, but hopefully I'll let you choose what type of document that you do wanna create versus from word processing to we're gonna go ahead and delete that one, to page layout. So don't forget to like and subscribe our videos. Hopefully this gets you started with pages so you can start poking around. Um, and we will see you again next week. Thanks everybody for watching. Have a great week.